Wait, he just jumped. But uh, today you'll find out, as I present to you my two ways of making a Lego guy jump. You see this clip here? Let me show you what it looked like before I edited it. As you can now see, there was a support here that was holding up the character whilst he was in the air. But why don't we see that? Well, you see this picture right here, during the jump? That is called a clean frame. Quite simply, we're just going to layer that picture over the support, and then my man's going to be flying. However, whilst you're animating this, there are a few things you need to keep in mind. First, the rig. I use this fancy animation rig, which I'll put a link to down below. But don't fear, there are alternatives to this, like just using Lego bricks. I'd suggest using muted colours for your stand, such as white or black. Colours that don't spill light onto your character accidentally, unlike my translucent green. And secondly, make sure your rig isn't directly underneath the character, as that affects the shadow of your figure, as seen here. Something that my prior tutorial didn't address at all. I suggest instead putting it on the side of your character. Now, after you've finished the animation, it's time to mask. First, find the picture that you want to take the stand out of. Make sure your clean frame is directly before this. Click on your frame and select the erase tool. From here, you can pinch the screen to zoom in and zoom out of your picture. In the top right hand corner, there is a circular button which can be clicked to adjust the size of your brush. And to start masking, Simply drag your finger across your screen, and that's it. Nothing else to it. If you make a mistake, either press the undo button or press the erase plus button, both at the top to correct an error. Once you're finished with your masking, then press the arrow button in the top left and delete your clean frame. Two things to clarify, you may have to purchase this feature on apps like Stop Motion Studio, and also this process is very time consuming and takes a lot of practice to get good at it. Luckily, this method is way easier than the last. Simply attach your figure with sticky tack to something behind it. Whether that be a wall, another figure, anything. Good thing about this method is it's completely free and can be done entirely in camera, saving you lots of editing time. The only limitation with this trick is if there is nothing behind for your character to stick to, then unfortunately you'll have to mask. And now you know how to animate a character flying. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit sorry I haven't uploaded in a while.